Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. There are seven exams in it. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 200. Question number, quantitative comparison question number three. Quantitative comparison number three. Let's take a look at it. Even though it's number three, and even you know, this, and even though only eighty-one percent of the people got it right, getting the question right is not all of the story. If you got it right in a very roundabout way, in a very tedious, very annoying, very tortuous manner, then that's no good. You have to take it in a straightforward way. And. For those of you who do not know this word tortuous, not to be confused with torturous. Tortuous, look it up and learn it. It says Richard's salary, which is greater than 10,000, is 75% of Sandra's salary. And Ted's salary is 80% of Richard's salary. And we are asked to compare Sandra's salary versus Ted's salary. Now here's the thing, here's the deal. The fact that the richest salary is greater than 10,000, I could care less about that. What I'm interested in, what I'm interested in is the fact that Sandra's is, what I'm interested in is the fact that Richard's salary, cross out the words where it says, which is greater than 10,000 with your pencil, just cross it out. Don't go bonkers like that, just cross it out nicely. And now it reads, which salary is 75% of Sandra's salary. So I'm going to plug a number for Sandra's salary. I'm going to pretend. Sandra's Sandra salary is 100. If Sandra is 100, then Richard is 75 because I've just been told that Richard's salary is 75% of Sandra's. And then it goes on to say that Ted's salary is 80% of Richard's salary. This is Richard's salary. And Ted's is 80% of Richard's salary. You see? 80% of Richard's salary. It should say Richard's and Tad's salary, but I'm not. I'm just abbreviating everything. So which quantity is bigger? It's very simple. And 80% of 75, obviously, it's going to be less than 100. That's what it is. This is 80% of 75. It's less than that. The answer is A. That's all. So the point here was to realize that we have information that is not uh, that is not uh, required. Information that is superfluous, that is unneeded, that is unwarranted, that is unrequired, it is gratuitous. Uh, the information, the fact that it is more than 10,000, who cares about that? We are not interested in that. Let's look at the next problem, number four. Let me look at the clock in the back, see what time it is right now. We are four minutes to into it. I just uh, use a word and I don't want to put it in the blackboard because I do not know how to spell it. I'm a lousy speller. I suck at spelling. The word was, which is a synonym of this word. G R A T U I T O U S. Unneeded, unwanted, unwarranted, uncalled for, unrequired, gratuitous, superfluous. The fact that his, his salary is more than 10,000. We do not need that information here. Number four. Question number four. Five third of 0.6 versus, oh, versus 1, what do you know? They say times, which is same as off, you understand? 5 thirds of 6 is same as 5 thirds time. So 5 thirds times 
how can I write 6? Uh, point 6. Point 6 is 6 over 10, which of course is same as 3 over 5. You must know your fifths by heart for the exam. I know it's a very simple thing and most, of pe most people do know it, but there are quite a few people who cannot figure out fifths quickly like that. One fifth, which is 20%, and if you have trouble uh, uh, remembering it, just think one fifth is same as two tenths. If you multiply top and the bottom by two, it's two tenths. So one fifth is 20%. Two fifth would be 40%, because it is two fifth is same as four over 10. Three fifth is same as six over 10, which of course is 60%. Finally, four fifth, which is going to be same as eight over 10, which is same as 80%. Oh, I don't know why I put all this here. Now I have no room to work with it. So, 6 fifth, oh, sorry, 60%, point 6, is same as 6 tenth, which of course is same as 3 fifth. So, can you quickly tell me, I'm going to change the color and I'm going to go on the side here. Can you tell me how much is this quantity? 978 over 341 times 341 times over 978. How much is that quantity? I hope you're able to see right away that it is 1. Because they are reciprocal. Product of any product of two numbers where one number is a reciprocal of the other is 1. 6 7 times 7 6. 6 and 6 cancel out, 7 and 7 cancel out, this is 1. Same thing here, this cancels out with this and this cancels out with that. The same exact thing is going on here. 3 cancels out with this 3 and this 5 cancels out with this 5, it equals 1. In the other column we also have 1, here we have 1, the answer is C. That's all. That's all. Let me look at the clock one more time. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to if you wish to hire my services for personal private tutoring, or if you wish to buy the solution to any of the problems and solution manuals to this problem in the book, in either case, go to my website at www.preppreprep. -E for4gre.com and send me an email. All right. Thank you.